Assalamu alaikum, I hope you all are great. This is Mubeen Shah and you are on the channel English with Mubeen. I'm teaching you how to communicate with people. So here, this is the question you had asked. Do you have a job or you are studying? So if you ask this question, the person might answer he's a student or he might say he is doing some sort of work. So we've got two categories here, studentship and a job holder. If he's a student, you can ask other question what subjects are you studying? This is a present continuous tense. You can also say, what subjects do you study? Do is used in simple tense, present simple. What subjects do you study? So here this phrase is important. What subjects are you studying? Second, this is a very common question. What are you majoring in? That means, what are you specializing in? What's your main subject? For example, if somebody is studying mass communication, there might be print media, electronic media, or social media, or advertising, public relations and advertising. So majoring, for, for example, I'm studying English linguistics. In English linguistics, we have different categories, semantics and pragmatics, phonetics and phonology. So different phonetics, can be the major subject. Is it, your, is it your own choice or somebody else has suggested you? That means, uh, did you select these subjects by your own or somebody recommended you to choose these subjects? For instance, somebody recommended you, somebody suggested you, but still there is a question. Do you like these subjects? Are you satisfied with your choice? Are you happy with your, your, with your choice? Are you enjoying your whole course? And then you can ask further questions about university, about the teaching staff. This is, you, you actually have to do word association. For example, you're asking about university. You have to ask further three to four questions about university. Where is it located? Do they have a highly qualified staff? These are the phrase structure. This is a this is an adverb phrase, highly educated staff. Do they have highly educated staff? Do you like to study in a group or alone? In groups or alone? Or in sim simple in group or alone? When somebody is studying at the university, there is a chance he get a group there and he discuss the idea, he discusses the ideas there and he likes to study in group. Or do you visit library that can be another question how often do you visit university library so these all questions are related to a person who is student or if you want to ask other questions like what will you do after your degree like future plan which company will you join do you have any plan for the studies in abroad so are you going to America for higher studies? Are you going to America for your postdoc or for your PhD or for your masters or for your MPhil? So you have to ask these questions. These all are relevant to the person who answers. He's a student. The next is if he said he is working there in any company or he has a job of a banker, he's a banker or he is a teacher might be any job he's a pilot security guard so you have to ask further questions what's the nature of your job for example if somebody says i'm a banker but i i don't know what a banker does in the bank he might be a cashier he might be the accountant or any other subcategory so you can ask what's the nature of your job the nature of your job this is a noun phrase the nature 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 of your job what is the nature of your job do you take help from your seniors are, are you learning in that environment are you happy with that environment are you enjoying the whole uh, system the whole job as a, as an overall are you enjoying your job that can be a question are you expert at further things are you expert at flying an, 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 an airplane? Are you expert at how to control the class, at controlling the class? For, for instance, he's a teacher. 
So you can ask, are you expert at controlling the class? Are you expert at teaching mathematics? Are you expert at teaching English? Are you expert at speaking English? So these can be the relevant questions. Would you like to or would you ever like to change your job? If he's not satisfied, he would say, I would surely change my job. I would surely uh, quit my job. I would surely skip this job. Quit, change, skip. There can be multiple vocabulary words for this question. Next is name of the brand. In which company are you working? Is it a famous brand? What, what, what is their major role in the society? What is their PR activity? Like, for, for instance, they are doing some charity work or they, they are famous for certain reasons. And what are those reasons you can explore about the company? Anyways, these are some questions. Ask your fellows or write the answers in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please share with your friends. Take care. Bye.